Do you fuck with Troy and Jerry? And Jerry, 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 Jerry. Of course I do, you fool. What about you? Do you fuck with Troy and Jerry? Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Oh boy, I love this show. Does anyone else here fuck with Troy and Jerry? Jerry, Jerry. I love this show so much. Is it time to start yet? Let's start the show. Yeah, dude. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Dude, yeah, you I do. love that. That whole intro, all of it. It's fucking dope. Is it AI generated? It, Jerry and I actually have a secret that we want to share. We're actually both AI generated. Especially yeah. Jerry. Way advanced over Max Headroom. So he's he's I a Max Headroom. Now there's a reference. Right. I don't can we get a show of hands? How many people even know what the fuck Max Headroom? is like have you heard it do you know what the, what the who he is what the, what what the character is you know the story is it the reference just too young whatever yeah, i'd be curious to know i usually find that a lot of times when i make my old man references i got a lot of buddies out there who know what i'm talking about so <laughs> uh, uh, who's got their d's out we're hey, bad audio who's got bad audio maz mers knows about it i got bad audio Oh yeah, I do have I have connection issues. Do you? Okay. So it's showing. Shit, that ain't no good. Sames has heard of Max Headroom. Am I is is my audio video okay? Um Everybody? you're only every now and then a little choppy in video, but otherwise you're fine for me. Okay. Like it matches okay. up. Your your shit is 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 you know lining up. I gave a fresh restart before the show. Right? I'm at, I'm at 560, by the way. So if you got your dab ready and you're wanting to you want to pull your banger. Now the time? Well, right now it's like 545. So yeah, probably with the way you pull and go. I'm dabbing some shit dabs. I'm, I'm going to take it hotter or take it colder. What do you think? Shit dabs hot, shit dabs cold. Oof. Hotter? I tried uh, colder last night and it did not make it better. Now I'm going to... All right, go hotter then. Okay, let's do yeah, Cheers, bro. Bye. Right, cheers, guys. Easy, easy. Uh, 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 that's good. I like my dabs. I'm sorry you don't like yours, man. Hmm. Tastes like lemon pledge but like from the dollar tree lemon <laughs> pledge <laughs> not the cheap lemon pledge no <laughs> nothing worse than shitty lemon flavor yeah it's pretty pretty bad not gonna lie not gonna lie well, that was a pretty bad dab right there jerry <laughs> well i hope we don't have any penalties i do too I do too. No, no penalty abs tonight, please. No way, man. No way. So how you doing, my man? How, how's your week been? What's going on, man? How you doing? 
that week was all right. Week was all right. It was busy. It was yeah. busy. You got some right things on. done this week. It went by quick. It's fucking awesome. It was a quick week, wasn't it? They're all going quickly, man. I, I was just talking about that to somebody today, actually. Just time is flying these days. It doesn't matter whether I'm having a good time or a bad time. It's just flying. Like, yeah, it's flying, bro. But, uh, well, I hear you on that. Sometimes, sometimes you just got to, like, go with the long blink and open your eyes to a new reality whenever your eyes get opened. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I think I do. That's a pretty cool way to say it. Have you ever seen that movie Click? Oh, I don't think so. Is it funky good? No, I hated it. But okay. uh, relevant, you know? All right. It made me, I don't know, rethink about moments in life. like Because you get moments in life that fucking suck and you want to skip them over. But then like moments are moments. There is no good or bad. Yeah. That's interesting. It is kind of interesting. Jerry. Yes, sir. It's a good dab. Eh, it was all right. I mean, I mean, are you getting buzzed from it? Do we need to do another one? I don't know. I mean, I need? Sure. Want? Not really, man. It was not very enjoyable. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. I think you'll get high off the volcanoes tonight. I hope so. I'm going to. My yeah. connection. It says it's, my connection is fucked up. Is, is my connection fucked up? No, no one's getting any problems from me. Okay. I don't, I don't, again, I don't see it. Um, I, did it, I guess last, last week I rewatched the stream and I was imaged the entire night and the chat was just filled with comments like, Troy, you're backwards. You're sure you're mirrored. Uh, no. Well, they're all saying you're good here. You look good. You look good, man. We're good. Okay. 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 <sighs> Yeah, I published my uh, my Zen Leaf. I've been I've been using this this cordless desktop, the new right. shit from Cannabis Hardware. Uh huh. Uh, we published our video on it a few days ago from from our little stream, right. and uh, on four twenty vapezone dot com, I got uh, my my written review up of it, and I'm gonna make a video for it too. But right now, it's just written, but it's there. Nice, congrats, man. It's a lot of work, dude. It is a lot of work. And I, I always I always envision things like that taking a, a day. Mm -hmm. Like I can bang that out in a day. And then like three days later, I'm like, what the fuck isn't this done? <laughs> it's hard, man, especially when we want to just get get stuff done quickly. But yeah, dude, it's a lot of work. So well, congrats, man. You guys should check that out. Cause I mean, you know, Troy's on top of the cannabis hardware stuff, man. That stuff's fucking on it. Yeah. Yeah, it's good shit. It's good shit. So check out the vape zone. I also saw this week that Dynavap opened up their Dynavault. Did you see this? I love it when they do that. Some cool shit in there, actually. I fucking enjoy it. What is nice? nice. nice. What is it that, that makes me happy? happy. What is nice? Nice. nice? nice in their hand. Nice to hold. Nice, nice in their hand. Nice to look at. Yeah. What is it that, that makes me happy? What is nice? nice. nice. Nice in the hand, nice to hold. Nice in the hand. Wood is nice. Dynavap. Wood is nice. <laughs> wood is nice, man. How many woodwinds do we have in the chat? Anybody, anybody got some woodwinds out there? Yeah, mine's mine's uh mine's right there, I believe. You believe? Yeah, mine's right there. I've got mine within hands reach on this table over here. I finally found mine after Jerry lost it when he was here. Yes. I didn't. Well, uh, I am sorry. I didn't lose it. Right. I'm, but yes. I'm sorry you didn't know where I put it. Right, right, right. You know what's funny, Jerry, is like when you were here, like while you were here, when I went out to get my red vape bag to go to LA, you know? Yeah. I, I discovered that it was filled with vapes. And I thought it was hilarious how many vapes were inside that red bag. Hey. And you were already out there looking at my shelves. Like you had inspected my shelves and gone over my entire vape shelves. Didn't notice any missing vapes. And then my red bag had like 15 vapes inside of it. Right. So I took out cool. all those vapes and I laid them out on top of my Dynavap trays to, to like 
Uh -huh. I, I wanted you to go back out there and, and I wanted to show you like, yo, this pile right here was all in that bag. Nice. But then I, I don't think I don't think we ever went back out there. I never showed you. I remember the bag. I saw I saw the bag. We looked in it. It was a nice collection. Oh, you you saw the bags with vapes in it? Yeah, yeah. You travel well. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah that was cool, man. Yeah, those shelves, man. Love what you did with that shit. Damn. Big shelves, big shelves. Right? Okay. Well, that dab didn't really get me. So uh, maybe maybe you want to jump into this volcano thing right away. Yeah, why not, man? Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, but first, we 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 just did that for Dynavap. We like to thank our sponsors real quick. We got another one too for Planet of the Vapes. It's it's, it's I laugh. I've been laughing my ass off every time I watch this one. This is you're gonna love this, Troy. Tune in next week, motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> it changed a little bit. Changed a little bit since the last time I saw it. Oh my gosh, I love that, man. That is absolutely great. <sighs> Fun. Yes, that. thanks. Thanks, Planet of the Vapes, for sponsoring the show. And uh, Dynavap as well. Dynavap, you can save 10% by going to dynavap.com slash Troy and Jerry. And Planet of the Vapes has a bunch of sales going on through the rest of the month, I believe, right? Actually, you need to get out there end of the weekend the, by by the end of this Sunday for real. This time, midnight Eastern time on Sunday is when the Planet of the Vapes Black Friday sale will be over. So uh, hit that puppy up if you um, if you want something for yourself or for friends. The stores in Bickle Vapes, the volcano that we're going to talk about a little bit tonight, best discounts of the year right now. So keep that in mind if you uh, if you get hot for a volcano after this show. Now is actually a good time to to pull the trigger. So hot know. for a volcano. Hot for a volcano, baby. Dude, people always but, do get hot for volcanoes after the show. Like I, I remember there was there was times where we kind of did did some videos where we weren't weren't even talking good about the volcano. We were talking about how it's like not really something we we reach for. You know, we were being like the, the brutally honest. Like here's here's how it fits into our lives. We pull it out like once every three months or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then, like, the DMs light up after the show. Like, after watching that, I had to go out and buy a volcano. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I mean, that's good because um, I think that means that, that the message got through. You know what I'm saying? I mean, most of the reason why you and I don't camp on a vape, like, I, I don't, I barely use my herborizer anymore. That was an everyday vape for me before we started doing this show. And uh, honestly, be because we have so many vapes to look at and, and talk about, I don't, I don't camp on a vape anymore, and I know you don't either. So I think that's the reason. Otherwise, there have been times when the volcano was what I used most of the time. So, yeah, I'm stoked to use this tonight, dude. Like, I, I yeah. like the vape. I know I'm going to get fucked up. It's going to be a good show with this vape. I'm going to grind with you. Oh, we need to grind some weed, don't we? Yeah, I got to grind some shit. I gotta grind some shit. Hello, this is Betty White. You need some time to grind. All right, are we going to hit this thing here? Is that what we're going to do? You gotta, you gotta give me a moment. Now I gotta grind some shit. Now I gotta grind some shit. Now I gotta grind some shit. What strain you got? Pink strummer and gelata. Now I gotta grind some. I just pulled out a nug, dude. Now I gotta grind some. Now I gotta grind some. Now I gotta grind some shit. Let me grind one up. Thanks, Betty. We appreciate you helping helping with the grinding materials here. She's great for that, man. She's great for it. Holy jeez. All right. So Jerry, I want, yes. every every time I show this grinder, people people are like, Oh, what grinder is that? That looks badass. I like this grinder. Jerry could not figure the this grinder out for the fuck. <laughs> Dude, he was here for four days. He must have dumped this thing on the fucking desk like 12 times. <laughs> I I put it away. I literally took it off the desk. I'm like, you know what? No, no more. Like, I, I cannot watch you pull this fucking thing around. 
a single goddamn one more time. Like I will <laughs> run the weed myself. I will load all the bulls. <laughs> oh shit, that's so funny. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. There's a trick to it because it's there's three pieces on top. There's this piece. There's the ring, <laughs> and then there's like the grind plate. And the the ring holds the, the grind plate down. And when I when I open it up to get my weed, I pull all three of them out. I have to, but I hold them all together like this. And that's what that's what Jerry was missing. So Jerry was like trying to pull this off and then dump things and just shit would go flying everywhere. But yeah, I uh, <laughs> I, I ground up some shit. It did. It took me the whole almost week. You didn't get it. There to i know but it took me that long just to figure out that it wasn't broken like i, mean, I was like <laughs> why is it done like this and when when i finally realized why they they made it that way i was like okay i get it i get, you had to do that but i was like <laughs> no i never open a grinder that way and i sure as fuck didn't get used to that one i'll go back yeah. to my uh to my fucking um, aroma three here, man. This thing, this thing. God. What happened to your bearing? What did you do? You skate in the rain? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with it? I saw oh, it. You you turned it and it just like stopped. It was like, it even, oh, it didn't make well, sense. I have big nuggets in here. This is I'm grinding up the whole. Oh, okay. I, it's full. Like it's actually okay. full of nugs, and so I was just kind of getting it started. But uh, that's funny. I was wondering because this green plate comes off now, and so. Uh, if if I put it on a magnet, it'll it'll just come right off, and then you can see what that the, the thing underneath. So, <laughs> like the bearing cover is coming off. Yeah, that little green thing right there, the cover. Which grinder? Somebody somebody was asking about a grinder. The the grinder that Jerry is holding is the Aroma Three from Old Mate Designs in Australia, yeah. and the one that I'm holding is the Goat Grinder. <laughs> Uh, and that's from here in the states, or are they from somewhere else? Is that is that coming from? Yeah, they're like, it's, I think they're on the east coast. The right east coast on. weed scene. There's my grind. Very very nice. All right, Jerry. You ready to uh, ready to hit some shit? Yeah. underwear <laughs> yeah we, we got the uh the glacier tube from vape widgets so this comes in two different styles and uh, i just pulled this one straight out of the freezer so i'm gonna pull it out and show you so i can get it open here so this whoo, this little guy has one of those like spirals in there and it's filled with like glycerin like vegetable glycerin or whatever that mm -hmm. slimy gooey shit is when it was warm it did like the lava lamp effect and you tip it and the bubble would go back and forth real slow but now that it's frozen it's frozen solid and the idea is you put this on top of your volcano and pump your bags through this or pull your vapor through this or hit your whip through this and it's gonna significantly cool your volcano vapor because some people complain that the volcano vapor is too hot and too dry and too harsh so Tonight, we're going to try the Glacier Tube, and there's another model in the other little tube right there, just like this, except it has a bubbler on the bottom. But I was too scared to do the water one first, so I pulled out the, the dry one first, Jerry. Is that cool? Mm, yeah, whatever you want. So let's see. Let me see Does it fit right on here? No, it doesn't. So this is just like the, uh, the old Obsidian tubes. And it came with some replacement O-rings here. Taped on the side. Looks like three three different sizes. Just in case, you know, I can figure out which one fits for you, I guess. Uh, generally, uh, these... O-rings, yeah. One of, them, one of them goes... Goes here? On the volcano. Yeah, one goes on there. You take the one off and put that on instead. Uh, you, you take the old one off. Hang on a second. Uh oh Jerry's in trouble. Thank you. Got it. 
Oh, special delivery. There we go. I got my uh cheers, guys. Penis pump. I got my pumps. So you're doing the short one first, right? Yeah, I'm gonna do the short one first. So there it is with that replacement ring on there. Okay, all right. All right, then I'm gonna put this long one away. <laughs> the way you did. I didn't realize you could do that cold and have such good results. And then I got this one out and ready as well. So yeah, rock and roll. Oh yeah, mine's showing up all right there. Let me see if I can show it. There you go. Oh, sorry, my bad. Um you can see the tube in there. That's where the vapor's going. Everything that's yeah. not tube is filled with glycerin. There's your little gong shot. I'm stoked about this, man. Yeah. Let's see what's up. So I was kind of thinking it'd be nice to blow side by side. I'm going to blow side by side bag. So I got both of my volcanoes set up here. I got the black one and, and my stainless steel one. You're a champ. And because uh, I want to, I want to do side by side. I want to, I want to blow two bags, identical, one through the freeze tube and one not, just so we can, or so I can compare how how these two uh, vapor bags compare. Because I honestly, I I had the obsidian thing, and I'll I'll show that off a little later. I, I brought that out as well. Are you doing a regular one first? What are you doing first? What do you mean? Are you going to do just a plain old bag and then pack a fresh bowl and go to the next one? Or how, how are you going about this? Remember last week when when Jerry called me out on not listening to him half the time? I'm going to do both at the same time since I have both my volcanoes here. Right, but are you, are you doing both tubes or are you doing a plain bag and then one with the tube? I'm doing a plain bag and one with the tube. Okay, all right. I'm going to go straight to just the tube because I'm going to do one bag at a time over here. And I'm loading thick bags too, man. Like really filling these bowls up the way that yeah. the volcano is meant to be used. You know, like yeah. look at that shit. These are some big ass bowls, Jerry. Yeah, bro. That's what I'm talking about. This is big. It looks like one's a little less than the other. Let me. I'm packing a full load over here. Top that off. <laughs> All right. This is gonna be fun. All right. What temp should I usually do? So maybe 400. You think? Well, I'm actually going to do a manual uh, spectrum bag. I'm going to start at 330 and then just start raising the temp and pausing the fan at, at certain times and going up to about 390 is what I'm going to do. Okay. Okay. I'll give it a little bit of a preheat. I'm just going to let it sit on there for a few seconds and soak up. And then I've got my tube right here. This will go on once I'm ready. Got one of my volcanoes was set to 165 F forever to get up to 400. Okay, so that probably is that. Up there. Yeah. Now the nice thing here, you, you get the you, you changed out the O ring on top of your volcano, and then all you got to do is attach this to the gong after you put the thing on there. So it's just one O ring for the glass system here to just kind of to roll with it. Um, I bring that up because I found my old obsidian things where the plastic wasn't like that. So, <clears throat> all right, you ready to blow these up, bro? No. Oh shit. No. No, I'm not. All right. I think mine's ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and start rolling. So I'm gonna plop this. I've already changed out the O-ring to a bigger one. I'm gonna plop this on here like that. It will get warm on there. Throw the bag on here like that. Push the pan like normal. Yo, I got my volcano to air out. I think I tricked it into like overshooting its temperature. I just got it to read well over 500 degrees. That's crazy, bro. It said it said 540, I think. It says 497 right now. Jesus. The volcano not... does not go that high. Yeah, that's a little fucked up, bro. It's still at 490 and cooling. It, it said 500 something. <laughs> Holy shit. I've never even heard of that before. Yeah, that was crazy. I don't know how it did it. What was it set to? I thought it was set to like 160. It, it, it showed 160 and it just kept holding the up button and it was going up and up and up. And then all of a sudden it aired. 
Okay. My bag yeah, is it's, on. It's it's still showing 460. Blow the air on it a little bit and cool it down. See, you got a bag blown already. I'm I'm just sitting here fucking waiting, waiting for my volcano to come down to temperature. Dude, I'm sorry, man. How's the silver one doing? Silver one's sitting at 400. It's fine. Oh, that is that is cold vapor. Well, there's no there's no doubt that's considerably cooler than a regular bag. Dude, it's hot. Yeah. So you can tell the difference easily. This feels like it came out of my AC unit. Like Interesting. It, like, yeah, it feels cold like that. Like, do you think that that the temperature reduction is going to cause any sort of like loss of vape, vapor potency? Because I, I remember when I first started vaping, uh, I, I wanted to get one of those ice bongs, and everybody in in FC and Vaporants was like, "Don't get an ice bong because ice cubes will make your vapor condense, and you're just going to lose THC and potency to the to the ice." And I was like, "Oh shit, I don't want that." Yeah. Um, I'm not really worried about that. I never really thought much about it. That that probably would have been an excuse for me back in the day that I liked when I was, you know, when, when things were scarce with it. But uh, these days, no, I don't. I don't care about that. What I I'm trying not to come at this prejudiced already based on my earlier experiences with glycerin. So it definitely makes it colder. But the other one that I used was really harsh at the same time. So um, that was a whip vape. So far, so good on the bag. I haven't run the fucking bag. Because if they're right about it condensing, then that means these vapor droplets in here getting bigger. Which means you're going to feel them more and worse when they hit the back of your throat. A finer mist is comfort compared to big globs of shit. So I don't want my shit condensed into bigger globs. But this, so far, this feels fine. Hold up. Troy, be back, guys. Man, yeah, I don't even need to compare this to a regular bag. This shit is like, this shit's legit. <clears throat> cooling this thing down. If uh, if hot vapor is a problem for you with a volcano, then this thing will absolutely help with that. Um, if you, uh, I'm not convinced that the vapor is any smoother yet or anything. But there's no doubt it's, it's fucking colder. I love how they can store in these tubes like Troy did. Like he had that in there for a while and it looked like when mine came out of the freezer. So I'm going to keep mine like it. That's really dope. Welcome back, Troy. Sorry about that. My bag. my bag fell on the floor and was on my chair. I couldn't find it. Oh, so these All are right, some... I'm ready to blow my bags, as she said. Go for it, man. This is starting to get a little uh i can feel it now a little irritant on the throat all right two bags commencing oh nice i love it oh are they a little tight you might want to loosen that one up thanks jerry appreciate the uh watching of my bag Real close. No problem. I got an eye on your bag. Your bag. I can actually feel the temperature difference just touching the bags. Oh, I'll bet. Yeah, right. I could feel it when I brought the bag up to me. Like there's a bit. Yeah, it feels cooler. It's yeah, it's fucking coldest thing in the room, motherfucker. Eye on the sack, as Johnny Sausages said. I got you, Johnny. <laughs> Okay, the glass is still cold. That's a good sign. All right, let's sample some bags. Yes, go ahead. Hot vapor. Which wasn't really that hot. Right. And yeah, you're right, cold vapor. <laughs> what I really want to know is if side by side one of them is more irritating than the other. You know what I mean? Yeah, because that one really hit me. Maybe it's just because I took two hits in right in a row. Perhaps. The cold water might be the cold might be a little bit more irritating. It kind of tickles my lungs. 
right? I feel it on the back of my mouth and throat. That's where I, I notice this particular irritation that I get from thick, potent vapor plenty of times. I mean, I ended this bag on 410, so it's not a thinny. Temp got it for science, right on. <clears throat> Dude, the cold vapor definitely tickles more. Okay. That's what I think. I think it's the condensation going on. Bigger droplets, bigger irritant. I'm not, I'm not like, you know, going to testify to that, but that's what, if you ask me what I think, that's what I think. But I have no science behind that. <coughs> Maybe it's just no, I'm not used to it. I don't know. No. Well, in as much a sense that you're going to get used to being irritated. But it is an irritation. I mean, the, the hot vapor, or I should say the non-cooled vapor, <laughs> has a harsher feel to it. The cold vapor feels smoother, but it tickles my lungs in a weird way that I'm, I don't know. Like it, I feel it. I feel my lungs tickle before I'm fully inhaled on the cold vapor. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like as I'm trying to draw in a full lung full of vapor, the cold vapor, my lungs are like, hee hee hee. You know, like I'm being tickled halfway through and I want to stop to cough. Yeah, Tombstone kind of gets it there. Maybe that's it too. <clears throat> I'm de I definitely feel the effects. Like I will not sweat any potency loss in this. This this thing will spank. I mean, I'm, it's, it's a heavy <laughs> thing. <I'm done. clears throat> oh, yeah. But again, I mean, at the end, rough. Fuck. You're a fucking uh, fucking champ for taking two volcano bags at the same time. Because when I take down a volcano bag, I give myself some time. Because I don't. Because it it is it is a different kind of rough on the system. You know what I mean? It's got a little more irritant sometimes, and I like to take breaks. So you going back to back on bags? I've done that before, and that's that's a mighty head. <laughs> that's some heavy shit you're pulling. That that's a warm bag. Right on. Finished off the cold bag, which was. I went from three thirty to four ten. I, I did a I did a, a curve on mine. I went straight to four hundred on mine. <clears throat> you went straight to four hundred. Straight to four hundred, and I gave him like a five second preheat. Four hundred. It is okay. I'm, I'm going to go back and do my next bag the same, and I'm doing that next bag on the uh, on the on the double whammy here, the one with the water at the bottom. Are you putting water in it? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. So my volcano is set back to three twenty nine. This thing here, pretty sure I fill it from the top. It goes down the skinny tube. Fill it from the top gong down the spinny tube into the top percolator. This is the spill proof chamber here. So with the gong, perk over gong. So I think that's how I'm going to roll with that. But I'm going to, uh, I'm going to pack a fresh one and, uh, Oh, yeah. I don't want any more of that bowl. That bowl is darker and dunner than I thought it was going to be. Darker and dunner. That's what we could name one of our... There you go. Darker and dunner. 
Oh, it did it for a second. Did you see that? Just yeah, mom that. did it for a second. Look at that. <sighs> That's done. That's done. How you doing, Troy? Hi. I'm on the hunt for the planet of the vapes. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Oh man, my soul is doing cartwheels, Jerry. <laughs> it's my first time in a trampoline park, apparently. Um, the vapor is definitely different. It and I don't know if it's good or bad. I could definitely see where some people will be like, yo, this is so much better. And other people will be like, nope. The original's better. Right. Uh it's smoother in some ways. But yeah, it makes it makes my tickle like a deep, like lung tickle, deep tickler, instead of like a the throat feel. It just it moves it and makes something different. Cold vapor is uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's for me. Right, I I actually the most comfortable vapor I've ever had was. Um through through a bong with really warm water so uh i have the opportunity to do that with this thing because i'm going to use my uh the water from my tea kettle which is still pretty warm i'll pour that in there and then it'll be nice to have that plus the cooling we'll see what that's like that might be delightful we shall see <clears throat> i'm gonna pack another uh Let's see. What do I got here? I want to pack another. Uh, where is that at? Yeah, there we go. Okay, here. So I'll pack another one of these. I got what kind of tea you drinking there? Uh, that is the uh, throat comfort tea that I break out every now and then. It's uh, throat this yogurt stuff tea. right here. Love that stuff. That stuff actually feels like it's coating my throat with the. Uh, I think it's got some licorice in it or something. It's got a couple of things that are kind of sweet in it, but that aren't that but are natural. And uh that actually that actually makes my throat feel better after I drink it. So. Very interesting. I wonder if it has that shit, I can't remember what it's called now. I think it starts with a C. Colise or something, or Coletta, Colina. Colina. I saw something recently that there's this like this herb that makes your throat like feel really soothed. Well, now you have me curious. I can't remember what it was called, though. Let's see. Well, this right here. So this is still cold, but no longer. Cardamom? Cardamom, exactly. Yes, yeah, so it says cardamom. And that's one of the sweet things, too. It's got clove, cardamom. A little bit of ginger, orange peel, cinnamon, licorice. There's a lot in here to make for a nice, sweet, soothing tea. Ow. Screen's hot. Whew. Yeah, so basically, it's still cold, but it is no longer frozen. Oh, what's that? Jesus, don't do that ever again, please. I don't like that. Sorry, that hurt me. Uh, you probably get two two uses out of it before it's room temperature again. What do you think? Um, maybe. How's it feel right now after your one bag? It, again, it's cold, but definitely not frozen. I f I feel like one one more bag would would neutralize it completely. Well. Oh. Um, do you want to blow up a little bit and see how if it's cool or not? Just blow up like a one or two hits worth. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Just for temp check, not taste or anything. Just I'll hit it with the whip. How about that? Yeah, I got the whip here too. That's actually a good idea, but I dumped mine out already. Oh yeah, my bowls were spent at four hundred. The hybrid kills a bowl in one bag, really. Yep. I mean, you can get more vapor out of it, but it sucks. Like, that vapor sucks. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm with you. I never get more than two bags, and that's if my first one tops out at 390 max. It's hopefully 380. 
and then I can take a second one into the 400 and it's great. But yeah, you're right, dude. Uh, any bag over 400, I could even take it to 445 after that. And it's still not going to be much there after it's had a, a full hit at the top. Yeah. Which is what happened on my last bag. I ended it at 410. One and done it. One and done it. All right. All right, my pack. this bitch up. I got to put my O ring on here. I took the the blue one that was on there off, and now this one goes on like that. It's it's not the right size. It's a little bit of a bitch, but then you can twist it on so that it is in the right place. Ta da! Yay me! Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. That goes on top of my partner in the <laughs> volcano, Habrid. You can use this with the classic, too, just so you know. You don't have to worry about uh, anything that I use this easy. Shoot, you could probably on there. You could probably put it on the, uh, you could probably figure out a way to put it on your plenty. Let's see how Troy likes the weep heats. They're going to be different. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so spoiled now with ball vapes and the venti. You know? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I can't feel the cool, the same cooling that I felt in the bag. I wonder if there's any cooling going on. Perhaps the whip is neutralizing it. That's a good idea. I'm blow it through. I can kind of feel it now. Yeah, that makes more sense to me. You're probably just getting short puffs that never really get through the yeah through the system. That's great. Now that'll do it. I'm plugging that shit up. Choking. Now it's gone. Yeah, right on. Yeah, the first the first few blows of vapor had some cool to it, but. Uh, <clears throat> it quickly went back to normal temperature. All right. Well, I'm going to uh, break out the, um, the bigger one now. Nice. Yeah, I'll bust this thing out too. And uh, mine's not frosty, but it's, it's fresh and ready to go. So there it is. Lottie Donnie. That's a good shot. This me. one, this one scares me because now, now I'm going to tell you about the obsidian, the original uh, volcano bubbler. Yeah, I have one right here. Oh, good. With the water in it, very similar, right? Does this not remind you of a penis pump? <laughs> it's kind of funny. That's not mine. Do you have the magma as well? Yeah, I have that. That's right here. I was going to try that out too, the magma. Yes, this yes. one actually worked better than the glass one, in my opinion. I like that's, this. One that's what everybody told me. That's what everybody told me. That's fucking funny, man. Uh, here, here's, here's, no. Damn. Let's go sideways. Here's the uh, obsidian next to, what's this one called? The glacier tube? I got confused because there's two of them. There's like the the glacier freeze, the widower, right? I don't know the vape widgets. Thought I'm fucking high. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hang on. I got the, the tall one here. Is not got a name on it. it. Just says the glacier tube. The little one, dude. This is so much thicker. They don't, they don't really say anything there. I don't know where you're gonna find a fucking name. All right, so did I get enough water in there yet? You hear the difference? Oh yeah. Which one? The the what's what did you say? So the, here's uh, here's the obsidian. Okay. Yeah. And then here here's the glacier tube. Yeah. Like, it's this is like a lot thicker oh, yeah. glass. No, no doubt. It's definitely a lot of thicker glass. Well, it's also got the glycerin, which is solid. Well, after you yeah. Garden, so. Well, I'm I'm knocking on on the double hollow parts down here. 
Yeah, no, I'm with you. It is, it is, it, it does feel like better glass. I'm going in, man. This thing's got water in it and ready to roll. I lost my O ring again. It went flying. There's a good sound clip for you, Emily. <laughs> All right. Once again, I'm going to manually up temp this as we go. Oh, this thing's been sitting on the volcano the whole time back here, like a dipshit. Damn. Were people warning me in the chat? That, was I missing it? Listen to the bubbling on this thing. If you're right oh, that's freaking hot. Damn. This is definitely bubbling. It, I'm getting some good bubble action here on this thing. How did you put water into it? Through the top. Uh, I'll spill it all over the place, man. I'm not doing that. Well, I have a pitcher. I have a very steep, like I was able to, to aim really well with it. So I understand. Yeah. When I, when I, when I fucked with the obsidian uh, and, and I put water in it, it was hard to get it right. It, hard, it was hard to get it to the point where it wasn't blowing little water droplets into my volcano yeah. bag. And even when you get it right, the humidity that it adds to the vapor makes the inside of the volcano bag kind of wet, moist. Like when you finish that bag, it kind of sticks together like your nutsack after a long, long day of jogging with no underwear on. <laughs> oh, thanks for that. Uh, very clear descriptor. I love it. Every time I take the bag off the, or every time I take the glacier tube off the volcano, that large chunky O-ring goes flying off. Mine almost did. Mine was resting on top of the chamber, the top of the filling chamber when I was, when it was separated, I got lucky. Okay. This one has a kind of a different signature to it. It's still cold. But uh, I don't know, like maybe all that extra glass. I didn't, I didn't put water in mine, but I guess all that extra glass is probably doing a lot of. Oh, oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Fuck. This is uh, cold. Again, not quite as cold as the other, but I also this one they came out at the same time, so I, uh, I'm gonna say they're the same. I'm not gonna penalize it there. It feels. A little smoother, but I, I I I almost feel like it's coming on to where at the end of the bag I'm gonna feel that irritation again. But so far this is a little a little smoother. I'm I'm not quite ready to say that, but that's my initial impression. And I can see a water droplet on the inside of the bag, little very small water. Droplet. I knew it. I knew it. That's that's why I didn't even bother. That's why I didn't even bother. Like I, I don't want to do that lot. <clears throat> yeah, this this is way better than the obsidian. <coughs> I'm, I'm I'm starting to feel it now as far as the roughness. Whether that's because it's my second bag for the night. Or because it, it has that quality, I'm not quite yet sure, but this there. Oh, oh second bag. Isn't there a third bag? No, you did two. I did one. Oh, I understand. You did two plus a finisher with a whip, oh. whatever that looks like. All right, then. That explains why I feel like I'm on Jupiter right now. Right. In your search for Planet of the Vapes. He's as far out as Jupiter. Exploring the moons. Waiting for his trajectory to be ready for the correct launch towards Saturn. Just spewed water all over myself. I overcarbonated my water. About to get waterboarded here. Right. <laughs> Man, I used to drink a lot of soda water. I haven't done it that much lately. Oh. 
Fuck, man. Yeah. Three volcano bowls is uh, quite a bit. It'll leave a dent. Yeah. <clears throat> Didn't see that one coming. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to really feel good right about now. There he is. Dude, I love your one little guitar riff and the Planet of the Vapes uh, theme there. That was, I love that part. It was really short. I could I, I could have used a little more cowbell on that one, but um, kill gun, take him away. Right, oh, cowbell. There you go. <coughs> well, I am not going to do a third bag. Not for any other reason other than. I do feel the irritation building and a third bag is going to taint anything that I do with the Paint. Tempest. Yeah, it's going to perineum anything I do with the Tempest. Damn. Today I climbed those mountains in my background three times. And uh, they whooped my ass, Jerry. What mountains? These two mountains. Oh yeah, right on. In the I background. Get I get you. I am definitely fucking baked, bro. Yeah, volcano kind of packs a lot of weed. Like that was like three grams for me. It's more than I vape in a day. <laughs> yeah, I haven't measured, but the way I pack my bowls seem to always be right about half a gram and uh for me that's a huge bowl i don't have anything that i use that's that big i mean i could put it in some of these uh ball vapes but that would be insane that would be like taking this whole this whole bag and condensing it into one hit which is what we're doing with a ball vape oh Fuck me. All right. I'm, I'm glad I'm done with that bag just because of the the roughness it's building. Uh, but I would vape that shit all day in terms of effects. God damn, that's, that feels great. Put that shit to work. I'll tell you, man, every time I use this fucking volcano, I'm just impressed. You know? Like, Shit fucks me up. It's easy to use. It's consistent, easy to share, easy to move around the house. It's literally just the volcano, a removable plug, and what you saw, the bag and basket. So I fucking like it. Now I'm baked. Is that my shit going off? <clears throat> yeah. You want your pot back, don't you? So, Troy, uh, do you want to fuck with the obsidian stuff or just kind of, we noted what they were. That was, that was it there, right? Did you ever, did you ever like using them back in the day or you didn't because of the water, right? That was enough. Just the water. Forget about it. I think you're on mute. Well, that would explain why you're not uh, responding to my vocal cues and everything. That's um, funny. Yeah, I thought you were just being quiet for a long time. I was trying no, to geez. Wow. Wow. I wonder how long I've been muted. I don't know. You're pretty high, so it wouldn't be. Yeah, dude. Either. Oh, yeah. yeah. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Uh, to Pick answer your question, I didn't I didn't use the Obsidian very much at all. Like, uh, they sent it to me to review, and it was one of those things where I kind of told them, like, yeah, I'd just prefer to not use it versus using it. It's one of those things. Right. Uh, yeah. Like, the volcano vapor isn't really all that hot anyway by the time it gets to you, unless you're putting your mouth on the nipple, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. uh, if anything, they're a little bit dry, you know? Like mm -hmm. when you're inhaling a bag, it, it feels dry. But I don't know that adding moisture 
to the vapor uh, in a bag is worth it because it, it does change your bag life span, you know, and then just uh, using the obsidian, that fucking thing got hot after like one bowl. That like, it did. I remember that. Like I, you, like, you go take it off and be like, oh fuck! Like the whole thing was so goddamn hot. I'm like that's cool. Let's take the heat out of the vapor, right? But it was like hot enough to like not be manageable. You know? I get you on that. This one didn't get hot after after one bowl. I'll say that. But we also started with it frozen. You know. Yeah, that makes a big difference. Like I don't it's know blistering. how. Like I can't imagine ever working that into my life, like leaving a, a frozen glycerin thing in the freezer. Like I, I left a couple pounds of like trim in the freezer for like a year, <laughs> and yeah, I, I learned the limits of what my wife will take. And I, don't, <laughs> I don't know if, if the big penis pump looking thing in the freezer. I don't think it's on. The, I don't think it's on that uh, list of things that uh, I can ever put in the freezer. This fucking penis pump thing is killing me, man. I love it. <sighs> but that's just me. Like if you if you have your own beer fridge and all that shit, like you can, you can put the, the the glacier tubes in there. It's not bad. Like it's different. It's different. I don't know that if it's good or bad, you know, but it's it's different for me that ice cold vapor as it was kind of amusing for one like it was it was neat to experience uh, love it. but it yeah it 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 <laughs> was a different kind of tickle like it was like inhaling something from from like the the freezer section at costco like when you walk in the fucking costco egg egg room you know and you're like oh, you know but it's just yeah. the vapor it's just the vapor part of it like that it's just really cold vapor so it tickles in a different way. Like maybe it maybe it is less hot and maybe it is better for your mouth and your throat because it's cooler. And maybe it's just tickles now now it's gonna tickle your lungs because it's you know a new a new thing. I don't know. Yeah, right on. I was the same way. I did like the pink one, the little plastic one. This was my favorite of the obsidians, like everybody said there, and it was the magma. Was, yeah, it didn't get hot. It did a good job of just dissipating the heat out and being done with it. So, um, but for me, those ended up giving me vapor that was very moist, you know, very humid. And moist. Uh, I love the word, but I didn't want it in my vapor. So this one here, I didn't feel like it was moist. I think I think the cool it cooling, I think the cool vapor makes up for the extra moist like Damn, when it's moist and warm you say it, bro what are you trying <laughs> well, here come a couple more bro moist and warm is is worse than moist and cold if that makes sense like cold and moist is a different feeling and so i was fine with the moist when it was cold but not when it was warm so this is a nice cool moist is that like 11 <laughs> I mean, I, I was I, at first I was counting at first I was counting and then I'm like, man, this, this is going to be rude. I shouldn't do this. And then I stopped counting and then I'm like, no, man, this is like nine now. If I had kept counting. I'm like how many times is, is he trying to, to, to say moist as many times as he moist can? Oh, that's <clears> fucking great. <throat> Uh, actually, it came really easy. Easy, so it was yeah, like I bet it, it did. <laughs> all that moisture, gross, gross, Jerry. Let's let's bust open some shit, man. Let you've got mail. Nail time. Nail time. Nail time. time. And Jerry's got mail. They've been saving it for tonight. Mail, mail time. All right, nice. listen. This this 
box came from the UK and I don't apparently, I apparently don't know how to open these, these UK boxes. Like I don't <laughs> understand <laughs> where, like there's no flap to cut. Like I see, I see that like there's some hinges here. So there's a hinge. <laughs> there's no, like there's no flap. Dude, I know what you're talking about. Like, dude, is this tape? Do I cut this tape? <laughs> I got this is a trick. Oh, okay. It's, dude, it was like fucking camouflage. <laughs> you gotta like learn learn the UK box. There tricks. you go, bro. <laughs> Jerry. I was gonna use my knife, but I didn't want to like get all aggressive, you know. I would have figured I would well they've been at it a long time over there, so they've kind of perfected this shit. Yeah, that's oh, the proper yeah. way to seal a package. Oh, oh God, Jerry. It's from yeah, Mad Heaters. Nice. Almost burned my hand on my vape right there. Mad I'm glad you got a nice little look at that. Let's blow you up make you big for this. You're going to show us. Whoa, be careful. <laughs> Paper. All right. Do you know what we have here, Jerry? Yeah, I'm excited because I've got I've I've used it for a bit. I'm I'm looking forward to hitting this with you. I'm looking See, forward been, to hit, hitting that shit. I've been waiting for the video to intentionally. I love I love the uh, <laughs> the paper wrap here. Okay. Ooh, it's. Do you have an overhead or anything? Or are we. Oh, there you go. Cool. I'm just going to show that. you. How about that? All, All right. right. So this is what we got in a bag. Damn, that thing is mean looking right that's amazing wow this thing looks like looks something like that the terminator would would pull out and inject himself oh, oh, with exactly you know in the that's event amazing. of like a time crisis Dude, yeah this thing is fucking sick yeah it is dope yeah like a lightsaber someone said over there dan yeah, it looks like a lightsaber that that uh, the Terminator would use. That's Terminator's lightsaber. Look at that. That's badass, dude. That, that's really badass looking. It's nice uh, to see one in pristine condition. <laughs> so we got... <clears throat> dude, this design is super intriguing with this body. Right? I can just tell already that there's like things that are probably adjustable that I don't even. Every bit of it has understand. a purpose. Every bit of it has a purpose, man. It's got super a, cool. Got a spinny mouthpiece. Looks like oh, this man. thing. This thing turns and adjusts to do things. Oh my god! Can we get into the oven? You've been using this thing, so you can tell me what I'm doing wrong. Are you just like waiting for me to figure out how to? No, you're good. Yeah, so you screwed it off there. So now in your right hand is the, well, that's the uh, the bowl there exactly, oh. and um, almost there you go. Pretty much a, a good size bowl with the same kind of serrations we've seen before on on some vap caps. Uh, they got a nice screen there. It's pretty screens big. Are great in there. I love mesh screens in these things. So it's a yeah, it's big. Is that what you said? Yeah, I like it. I mean, this is like a. A micro ball vape, right? This is one of these. Exactly. So that right there has got the balls in it. Show us up the screen and that. The other, okay. Yeah. See there, oh, are your there white ceramic balls. Zirconia? And white zirconia? I believe so. It's a ceramic zirconia, exactly. And uh, um, if I'm wrong, somebody can correct me, but I think those are the cool. whitest balls you're going to see today. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, some more to show on that on that tip. Okay, uh, on the tip? Or the... Yeah, on the tip. I'm sorry, on the cap. My bad, my bad, dude. You're on, I'm off. Uh, so on right there on his pointer finger, you see that hole with the three notches there that's going from big to small? That's a temperature indicator. Keep spinning it over a little more. You were, you were doing, yeah, there you go. And right there, you can see the notch. Uh, no, yeah, there you go. That little notch, as, as the thing heats up, the notch will um, spring like twist to the towards the indicators and when it gets into those lines is a good time to hit it for you know cool medium and hot hits so wow okay uh, it's really dope and then one more thing i want you to see on there 
is then um, turn it just a little more. Uh, back. That's it. we might as well look at that. That's beautiful. They got the Mad Heaters logo on there and a screw. You can open that up and get to the balls and shit like that. And I tell you, it's from the UK. The proper packaging. The Tempest right there. Okay, stop right there. Um, I, I pointed out on the on the no no don't no put it back. There you go. On the left there, the little slider with the notch. To the right of it is a vertical slot, and there's a band right there that um in the middle that if you twist it open and his is wide open you can see just in there you can see in that slot there's a little white white ball but if he were to twist that band you can tighten it and 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 tighten up the airflow that's going into the heater it's pretty dope you're talking about yeah okay i, I saw the one you're I, I saw it on the screen but i can't do it while looking at it yeah it's, okay. it, it's hard to do but, but it's wide open right now and that's where i want it exactly exactly so. <laughs> You All right, got it, man. This thing is sick, dude. Is it stainless yeah. steel, titanium? Pretty sure it's all titanium. Like it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't heat up in one of these uh, induction heaters that I have. I forget which one. It doesn't heat up in your induction heater. There, there's one in particular that it wouldn't work with, and I don't remember why or something. But that's that's going to be fixed, I think, as well. Because remember, we've got we've got beta units here. So the chat says titanium. The grip on this thing that's what is I fucking just dirty. It feels right. so like you know, like those industrial catwalks where it has like the little grippy steel things and it just like your yeah. shoes stick to it. Yeah. Like if you fall, you're losing your skin. Like you were <laughs> exactly a, like you were a meat crayon on that stuff. But yeah, it feels so it feels like that stuff. Yeah, you're right. I, it, that, that's like, a good way to describe it. And, it but it doesn't so get so non-slip. <laughs> like it's crazy how much grip my fingers have on this shit. Yeah, you won't you won't get hot there though. Like, but whatever heat gets down into the stem dissipates in those in those fins beneath it, and so that is a separate slider that comes off the the one that you just described, and that's what the part you can touch and stay cool. It's 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 really cool. Like every piece of this stuff there. Every piece is there for a reason, but it's made to look badass. Like, like it, it's not just like, oh, we had to put something on there. It's like, that looks fucking cool as shit. I wouldn't want it to be without it kind of look. The man himself is in the chat here. It says right it works in the button. wand, and there is... Oh, look at this. There you go. So it's that's what you would put in your there. wand if you don't already have it for your VAP cap. All right, so this goes what into you? the wand now? Uh-huh. So I just cram it in there. There you go. Good to see you in here, bud. Yeah, man. Welcome. I know it's later, early, depending on your perspective, right. where you are. Probably four in the morning, four thirty ish, four fifteen. Okay. So yeah, now there you got go. a nice fit in the wand. I probably should yeah. have put it in the other way. So I, I don't think it matters. Cream. I'm coming in from the from the display. Yeah, I fucked up and put it in the wrong way. Well, you can do it the other way then. I, I think you should. I think it's supposed to be the other way, but I don't think it. I don't think it really matters if it fits. But um, pushing my finger really hard in the hole, trying to get it out. Ah, there it comes. Oh shit! That's how you do it. <clears throat> okay, that was uh, a good finger exercise that I never want to do again. <laughs> All right, so how are you running the wand here? So there's no click on this thing. There will be, I believe, in the in, in the final edition. But so we have we're going through a protocol, and basically you you turn the wand on with five clicks, and then for you, um, the the instructions are to set it to six hundred. I have it on five seventy five, and then. Um, when you're ready, double click it and, you know, it does its heat cycle. And then when it's, when it's, when it actually gets to temperature, you plop it in there. And then the full cook is like all the way until it fully turns off as opposed to when it just times out and stops blinking. You with me? I'm going 575 and when it stops blinking, but he's saying the starting point is 600 and when the light goes off. So you would actually leave it. Yeah. So you would leave it in there. Once it stops blinking, you keep it there and wait till the light goes. See, run, run, run it until it says timeout. 
Oh, so okay. you want to look at this? Well, we'll look at the screen for you. When it says timeout on the screen there. It says 600, the light's still on. There, now it says timeout. Now it's, it's time, time to go? Yeah, pull it out and have fun. Go to town, all right. Yeah, I'm on 575, and I'm going to go till it stops blinking. We'll see if I'm where I think I am, because I had a good time with this. Push the it adapter says, further down. It's too yeah. high up. Bottom of the glass cup level with the red silicone. There you go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Some more finger Very exercises. Good. Thanks for the advice. Oh, what's yeah. a hot one in there? Oh, motherfucker. It's a hot one in there. That little quartz cup is a hot. That's a hot one. And I just jam my finger right in there. Right in there. All right. There we go. So I can go a little more on that. <laughs> but for now, I'll just okay. go back in for more cooking. <sighs> We're going to go back in on this. So I had 575 till it quit blinking. I got that nice, nice light puff. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing some more at it. So I guess now I awesome. you know know what? I don't think I even packed this thing, did I? I'm getting little ghost hits off before. Ooh, it's hot. I'm so high from those volcano bags. I'm not driving anywhere tonight. It's fucking hilarious, man. Did you guys get that? How you doing over there, man? Uh, Did you pack it? Probably not. I didn't pack mine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I did either. God damn it. I think we're both hitting these things empty going, okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to use the leather cap now to get it oh, off. But hang that's on. hilarious. It's hilarious that I think we both did it. Oh, yeah, there's nothing in here. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh shit! I gotta let all this shit cool down. Oh shit! <laughs> We're so sorry, <laughs> bro. Why isn't Mad Heater telling us to load these things first? <laughs> I we got so excited, we got so excited to do the whole induction heater thing. <laughs> oh, damn it! Damn it! <laughs> that might be uh, a penalty dab right there, bro. <laughs> I was like, it just tastes like metal. I'm like, what the hell? Like, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> like, I was looking at this thing. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? I'm like, everybody's, everybody's watching you. You're doing it wrong. <sighs> it gets funny as shit when you do that. Hot as shit when it does that too, man. Like, I was like, why is it getting so hot? And I know like, oh. it was so hot. It's so hot. <laughs> That's why I was like, damn. Like, you said it wouldn't get hot at all. I'm like, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it, man. That's fucking great. <laughs> okay. Uh, guys, it. pay attention. Learn from the pros. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, you got your spinning out right the fuck on, man. Going <sighs> town. <sighs> okay. So now with the uh, empty bowl, nice and pristine here. <laughs> Pre Are you gonna pack it this time, Troy? Let's see what it does with weed. Preheated. Uh, <laughs> we, we did a little burn off there. Inhaled it to see what it was gonna taste like. You it's know? a burn off. That's what it was. It's a burn off, folks. Definitely, dev is a burn off. <laughs> All right. You want? I assume you want to pack it loose or like not tight, tight. Not like yeah. A it's a convection fucker. So I would. I would. Yeah. So my. Out. My, the very first thing I did was like Dynapack it because the instinct. So I'm I'm gonna scrape that out here real quick and redo it. It's so hot in the bowl that everything kind of stuck together, like all the weed, like already started to do it, do its thing. Oh, gotcha. 
Oh, jam, Jerry. Oh, God. Oh, that is hot. Holy shit, that is way hotter than like an armored cap does. This thing got super hot even through the outside. Woo! Woo! <laughs> 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 I'm still laughing over us both not packing a goddamn page, man. It's fucking hilarious. Did any was there anybody in the chat? I, I can't wait to rewatch this stream. See if anybody caught it before we like, Do you guys load those vapes? <laughs> oh, that's great. So you you realized it at some point, and then you because you casually asked me. Like you can't, you kind yeah, of like, like kind of softly admitted it, and, like, <laughs> and you went, "I don't know." And I said, "I didn't do. I don't think you did either." Oh, that's great. Yeah, I'm just stabbing in on a big mound of weed here and filling this fucker up like that. So <clears throat> the, the Discord watchers said they caught it. I believe it. Me too. Like they're, they're on everything, man. That's why I believe it. All right, so I, I figured out this little thing down here closes the airport. That's cool. I'm closing it, leaving it closed. Oh, the, the, there's there's three settings down there. Oh. Um, you, you talking about you talking about this thing right here? This little band right here, bro. Yeah, the one right next to the spinny mouthpiece. Yeah. So anything that's not a solid line all the way up and down is a setting. And so, like, there's a. Anything Two that's dots. not a solid line up and like down. for instance, this is this is uh here. Hang on, let me switch to this. I did this for a reason, so hang on. Um, I want to go to this. Leave bottom slightly open. So right here, let me get this because I'm burning my uh -huh. don't um, burn yourself, Jerry. Here. So we're right Stay here. Special fingers for me. Woo. So right now I have this set right here the setting is the two dots and then but there's also that setting which is the the little half dot closest to the setting or back the other way to a half dot with a gap there it's on the other side so it goes like gap to the side you know gap gap and away <laughs> Two little dots and then close. I don't know what to fucking call these, but they're different. They're different things inside, because inside this fucker, you're you're picking one of the oh my god pathways, and this is just like the reload. Yeah, the, not the reload, the reload the, the revolve, revolve that we did a while back. So we've got, we've covered this. We got it. We got videos on it and shit like that. So you can look at it there. But that's Sweet. in this thing. So they've got all that cool fucking shit rolling in here. That's why it feels so familiar. It's like right. Based on the revolve, that's a badass stem. Then, by the way, okay, right, fucking dude, dude. this thing. Okay, I understand what's going on. This is a a fucking coming together of a couple wonderful things in the space, like into one vape by right. their powers combined, type of thing. You know, this thing. Yeah, this thing is gonna fuck. <laughs> like I, I'm glad I, glad I loaded it properly. I'm, I'm glad we did the dry run, you know, without anything involved. <laughs> Figure it out. The that right was the plan way. all along. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, rather than fucking it up, you know, with the uh, with the shit in there. Like now that we know. Okay, so now what do I want this thing set to? Well, that's where it gets funky uh, because I don't fully fucking understand those fucking things. Like, um, one of them just comes straight from it just comes straight through that's that's the hottest straightest shot the other one will i think come around the outside spiral and down and the other one will bring air in and up and up through the spiral and then back down straight it's all kinds of fuckery and you just play with them till you get the one that you really fucking dig and uh i'm so far on the two dots that's the one that i've been on is right there now right now i've seen to fuck this thing up i can't get it back together okay hey, it's 420 i like i like the two dots thing i'm gonna i'm gonna retry my my heating technique all right we got the cup in there basically flush with the red 
O ring. Set the six hundred F. Gonna hold it in there until it says timeout. Yeah. 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 Good. Till till it says timeout, you got it. And see how that does you. I'm so excited. Okay, I think I'm back in order. I still feel like it, there's something I'm not quite got put back. Yeah, it's a little loose. The spinny on here. Somebody will be like, oh, yo, bro, you got to do blah, blah, blah. Time out. Cheers, guys. Oh, it's sea vapor. <clears throat> going in. I'm going to take it and go on in. We, we've loaded it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my go. God. <laughs> All right. I'm 575 and until it stops blinking. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Uh-oh. It's better with weed, right? Uh-oh. Oh, I think I think I may have combusted, Jerry. Did you combust? Did you combust? Did you combust? Did you combust? I combusted. I did, I did, I did. I just fucked it up. I just fucked it up. Time for you to bend the knee. Penalty dab. The combustion is strong in this one. Penalty dab. The penalty dab. Try it, Jerry. All right. Yeah. Oh. I I'm just getting a big hit there. That wasn't fire at all. It it tasted great. And honestly, do you remember remember when that Magic Flight launch box company launched the Pico, which was like a, a vape to combustion device? That's what they called it. I think it was just a failed vaporizer, basically. But the the the, the concept that they marketed as was like you get all the vapor and then at the end you just kiss it with like the final combustion and then it's done. It's trash. No ABV yeah. to worry about. Blah, blah, blah. You know? All right. That. There's there's maybe something to that concept. I don't know. But, uh, I mean, that got me incredibly, incredibly stoned. And yeah, that's. That looks dab, dab. But now we got a dab. Yeah. That's what we came here for. Yeah. On the, on the positive side. Emily's been waiting to play that that combustion song for like a month. <laughs> like he's been sitting right. on it for so long. Right. We were we like, nope, 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 no combustion, bro. No, no, don't do it. <laughs> we didn't do it last time. We did really well. So Nailing I definitely it. don't have mine put back together correctly. So anyhow, here's my uh my cook was really nice. Check that out. Oh yeah, that's nice. It's a very nice. I like that. It's a nice. Let's uh, put that away over here. Uh, okay, so maybe maybe torching this thing and using the visual thing might be a better thing. I'm I'm to be honest, I, I just I haven't been an induction guy for, for like the last couple of years. Like I I had my honeymoon phase with the induction heaters with Dynavap. And I got to, I got to use them and love them and appreciate them and enjoy them for what they were like. Silently vaping on my Dynavap was wonderful, without you know the torching. Yep. But when it all when all the Dyna dust settled, I went back to the torch. I went back to the torch. It's, I just get a better vaporization experience, a more uh, efficient use of my time slash heating. You know, with, yep. with the bowl, and I just get a better experience with it, a more more thorough heat with a torch. So I want to want to go with this on the torch. Uh, well, we got dab first, so oh yeah, let's get that going. Shit, hold up, man. We ain't bailing on the dab. I know, I know, but like time time is not moving at the frequency that I'm used to right now. Right. Yeah. So. Like if we jump right <laughs> into <a> dab, <laughs> it's it's gonna create like a dab space time continuum, you know, on the THC time channel train. I don't know, man. Whatever, man. Let's load a dab. Uh, you, you gotta torch it first. Actually, you might as well start torching. This is what sucks when your dab suck. 
Yeah, your first move is torching, and then you got plenty of time to do dab. I'm just gonna do my dab now because my shit's ready. Because I got dab ready, baby. I dab ready. I guess it. I should have been torching during the fucking dab song, but we're. Uh... But uh, you know what? When you combust, it also fucks you up a little bit. So we must, we must, we must dab when we combust. <laughs> Hey, that's good. <laughs> All right, I'm having a hard time getting this thing back together, which sounds really stupid because it's simple, but there's something not quite working that I can't. I'm waiting for it to cool down a little bit more. But. Oh, okay. Now I did. Now we're back in biz. Now I'm going to put this in. Gonna do that. <laughs> now I'm good to go, bro. Now oh, I'm not a fucker. Okay, don't do that. There we go. There's all kinds of shit going on with this vape. It's cool to look at and think about. Like, what does that do? Why is that there? Why is there a bitty fucking is there a pathway? Fucking. Let me put this over here. A dope ass looking vape without the uh, that fucker's still hot, so we're just gonna go with this. Uh, this, this is the uh, in here, there you go. This is the this is what you can attach to any stem you have that you want, like if you want to put that on your wood stem or whatever. We're here up here in biz. There we go. Okay, that's right. And then uh, what did I say? I think I have it set like that. Yeah, that'll work for me. So I'll pack that, put that back on. Like we said, it's still kind of hot. Not not hot enough to burn, but hot enough to go. Damn it! And uh, damn it, we'll load. But we're gonna load that after we do this. This is my dab, Troy, right here. It's my dab. See my dab. See my derbs. See my derb, 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 derb. Oh wow, that's a nice. That's a nice uh, glob you got right there. I'm going Where, in, baby. Where's it going? I'm going all in. That's going to go in my uh, my dab ready banger. Whenever you tell me it's time to pull and go. You're in charge of that one, Troy. As soon as you say, jar, I go, yep. I got my glass. I got this. One of these days, I'll clean that marble. But oh, I haven't had, we haven't had a dab since the beginning. This will be nice, man. You guys in the in the chat dabbing with us? Who's uh, who's dabbing? Who's dabbing over here? <clears throat> Matt Heaters is saying something about grabbing the reloads. Will help a lot to handle the hot cap. I'm just using the the leather thing that I have because I happen to have one. But um, yeah, I'm not sweating that, man. Like I just. Uh, What did I do that time that I could do better? That was actually a really good hit for me. I could have had the thing put together first. It was all in, like like it was all had a little bit of spinning to it. So this will this will be better for me on this one when I let it and go. I've had I've had fine hits so far. I just gotta have it put together and do it like I like the five seventy five and then just when the when the lights quit blinking. You guys ready? Sweet. I see y'all in the chat. Dean up with us. Thank you, Radar. I'm at 540. Thank you, Vandalay. Yeah, you want me to pull it? I think that's. I mean, what's, I mean, what's your dab ready set to? 570. Oh, shit. Yeah, and then you should pull. Okay. I'm choiping. I'm choiping here. Oh, God. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Little fucker. Oh, this is gonna leave a mark, bro. Oh, how you doing there, man? It's good stuff. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> terrible. Is it just a bad buy or is it some fucked up shit? 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was an either or, but if you want to pick both, I can live with that. Yeah, it was no bueno. No bueno. Or was it yeah. a, like a store purchase? Like like the kind of stuff that people shouldn't get? <clears throat> or was it like, I pressed this and put it in my freezer for six months? And... Well, I think it's it's a retail thing, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm done with that. There's uh, some more oil in there, but I'm done with it. Mm. There's some more oil in there, but you're done with it. Shit. <laughs> Just to be clear, with this uh, tempest, it's a it's in beta right now, right? Like yes, like so that we're is not the finished version. Yeah. Okay. So like we're just playing around tonight. Yeah. Yeah, some people are like asking about the price. And... Not available. Yeah, it's not. It's not something that's available yet. When it is, we will have that, and we will show you and tell you all about it. Because I mean, I'm, I'm, I've used it for a bit, and I fucking dig it. So it'll be fun to talk about when when they're ready to, you know, have have their finished product for the market. <coughs> all right, I think that's good. So you can't read that out loud because of the. Be very soon. All right. Penalty dab has been paid. Oh, that man. Debt is eliminated. Uh, I still got a clean slurper. Right. And then we got to pack the Tempest and oh, do we it got again. Clean. We got to do it again. I don't, please don't combust again. Ever. Right? I really enjoyed mine. I'm looking forward to the next one. There's Zerk. Your next dab or your next bowl? This bowl. I'm looking forward to this next bowl here. <clears throat> yeah, I'm still going to use the wand. I'm still going with the wand because now that I have it put together correctly, this is going to be great. I mean, I, I, know the, I know what I'm doing here. I've done this a few times with the 575 until it stops blinking. It's my, it's my, it's, it's my pace right there. I like it. I'm not looking for the heavy duties. Mm, hi there, Troy. Got shit moving around in there, don't you? Yeah. Bro. The three volcano bowls to start the show was actually, no, we did a dab and then we did three volcano bowls. I'm just trying to figure out. Yep, you're there. Plus the tempest yeah. bowl, and now another dab. So you're at you're at two dabs, three bags, and a burnt bowl. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. That's how I got here. That's how you got here, bro. And that that'll do it. Like all that shit will leave a mark. Nothing. That's what I was. Just, that's what I was wondering. Like that's kind of where I was where I was at mentally right there. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Did somebody drug me? Did I take a gummy? Nope. 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 I just vaped a lot. Yep, that sounds like a song right there, man. That's a country song. Two dabs, three bags, and a burnt bowl. <laughs> That's it. That's a country tune. Yeah. All right. I'm packing this puppy up. I have some proofs that ground herbs. Oh, yeah. It's one of those situations. Okay. I got to try it again. Get back on your bike, Troy. That's right. Back on your bike, even though we're riding on the fucking edge of the flat earth right here. <laughs> oh, that's great. I was just talking to somebody about that. So funny. About what? Flat earth. What do you mean? I mean, there's someone in my life that has conversations with me about that. You're not going to surprise me with some flat earth shit, are you? <laughs> nah, you, you ate the fucking fucking peanut and. <laughs> packing peanuts really, really, I can see you left a mark. I'm sorry. That was, that was heavy, man. I was just trying to be helpful. 
Are you are you you're not a flat earth guy, are you, Jerry? I didn't say I was a flat earth guy. I just said I have conversations with okay. this one person about flat earth. Well, apparently one of us brings it up. <laughs> okay, okay. So anyhow. No, I, I I'm not that's not my thing. I'm just fucking with you. But I am not fucking with you about the conversations. So there's this dude that I have those conversations with. And so uh somehow that came up in something I said recently. I'm getting exposed as a round earth guy. <laughs> round earth guy, that's great, dude. No, I I dude, I'm I'm a little too old for that, dude. Like I was I was brought up heavily on the globe, like I mean it would take a serious shift in the way I see everything for me to do that. And <clears throat> in this day and age, man, there's just too much shit going on in social media that looks like it's, it's real and has all these people talking about it. But you know, it's gotta be better than that for information for me to get serious about something anymore. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna put the time into it. It doesn't matter to me. What the fuck? And then what? So it's flat. Big deal. I'm going nowhere near the edge anyhow. Like I'm way over here in the middle somewhere. Nobody gives a shit what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Flat, curved, whatever. I'm, I'm still I'm still over here in Florida. You know? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Hey, so Brent, Brent, you still in the in the chat? What's the best size torch to use? I want to go, I want to torch this thing. Tell me where to torch mm -hmm. it. I see some some stripes in here. That's a great idea. Is that is that the torch target right there? Those two stripes. Because mine's tore up. It looks like you, it looks like you've been torching higher. But have you been torching or have you been inducting? I've been doing it all. And uh, I think I would only just <clears throat> recently started paying attention to the temperature thing. It took me a while to figure that out. <clears throat> Triple torch Sorry. between the three lines. Well, between the two lines. Yeah. We, sorry. Yeah. Triple torch between the two lines. A triple so, torch. Well, I have a single, and then I have an ignite mini. Maybe I'll use the ignite mini. How's that sound, bro? Can I do that, bro? The ignite mini is this. Yeah, that little fucker, which is considerably bigger than a triple torch. It's more intense in a single spot than the triple torch. So the triple torch is wide. Is that what we're trying to do? Is spread this shit around? Well, I don't know. That's what. That's why I'm asking advice from the. Stop between the second and third line on the visual gauge. Love you on it. Does it and as far as the torch, I'm gonna go with the ignite mini and just see what happens here. I've got it set fairly low. Oh, that's yeah. We're gonna go lower. That'll work. You said all right. Okay, cool. So we're going at it like this. All right, I need to be able to see the. Yeah, we do. And then turn it slowly while heating. All right. Yeah, so turn it, check in. Turn it, it's on both sides. Like it's actually represented twice. So that's pretty fucking cool. Oh, it is. Once, once it starts to move, mine's already moving. Oh, that's so dope. That is fucking dope i can dial it in at lighter heavier it is a pretty big torch for an awful long time which is something that some are willing to do and others aren't see i'm still mm -hmm. not quite to the first line maybe i should turn the torch up oh my god I don't think I'm I don't think I'm getting this right, man. Oh my fuck. Where's did where did yours get to? <coughs> uh second. Second dot. Wow. Yo, that's legit. Oh, you can milk that. Motherfucker. Dude, the taste on that is just righteous. Bro, it's so easy to get a big fat, fat hit off of this. My face has melted off. I can no longer hold my face to my skull. That's insane. This is... Uh, a face 
melter right here. This is so tasty. Pretty close to combustion. I pushed it again, but I did not combust. I swear to God, I didn't. But it's pretty dark. <laughs> Ooh. I stopped way before it got to the even the first line. So I'm surprised how much I like mine. Like mine feels like it's done. I'm gonna go look at it and see. Oh yeah, mine was definitely done. <clears throat> wow. Dude, that thing. That thing has a fucking punch. Right? It's a motherfucker. I, I can't wait to hit this fresh oh. and not after like a dab or two two dabs and three volcano bowls. Because that's that's when I'll, I'll I want to see what this thing really can do. Because right now I was already on a roller coaster, you know, and then I and then I took a hit of acid or whatever. Right. So wow, so hey, this mine, thing, mine's really roasted on the top, I'm almost black on the top, and then plenty. Oh, yeah. Below. yeah, the re, uh, the reload is great. I, I don't know if I have a reload. I don't, but you know what's funny is for, for the longest time I had like three of those reloads right here, right, and then now I don't. Man, that is a fucked up brush. <laughs> By the way, did you did you see my my kitchen brush when you were here? I, I forgot the the kitchen brush. I, I got a Stores and Bickle brush in, in by my kitchen sink, and it's just like annihilated. <laughs> I don't think I did see that. I would I would oh, appreciate that. Damn. That I'll have to get a picture of it and show you because it's about to go in the trash. Like every time I use it, it's like grab, dropping little metal slivers and shit. Nice. Like the, the metal is so rusted apart. That's what I'm talking about. Beat that shit up. That actually, uh, that load is done. Like after I got in my hand and out of that, out of that lighting, it was tan and, and, and very dark brown. So um, that was well cooked, done. A joy to fucking hit. A lot of little hits in there that were just super little tasty things so i'm i'm going to work on the temperature gauge i probably fucked this thing up because um when i first got it i didn't know anything about it and i was like oh let me what is this and i figured out what it was and i started playing with it and started moving it and trying to get it to move by my with my hand so i may have fucked up the calibration on it so mine i'm going to start using mine my indicator will be a little on the low side so uh, you can fuck up your calibration on it. I think I may have because, like I said, after I stopped, well before before I got, even got to the first line on it, because it's been so long. I was like, no, this ain't this ain't right. And so I was glad I did because then it was it was it was long since ready. So I will uh, do it. Actually, I'll probably get better results with the fucking wand because the wand is cal. You know, we've calibrated that down and know what we're doing. So. Regardless, man, I'm gonna pack this up and go again, man. That was fun. <clears throat> Don't you want to hit another one, Troy? No, no, I'm too fucking stoned right now. All right, well, I'm gonna pack one up and have some. I fun. gotta wait a bit. I'm getting a second wind. I'm gonna pack some up. You go, girl. I'm gonna pack some up. I had that extra volcano bowl. You did. That that reggae temp. The no, the no cooled, the regular bowl. That alone leaves a mark. Okay. Dude, this thing reminds me a lot of the anvil, but with like the the, the ball vape hit on the first part of it. It's nice. It's really nice. Right. It's about three quarters of an inch ish, maybe. I'm guessing longer than the anvil. Other than that, it's pretty similar in size, even the head and all like that. So, yeah, it's nice. Looks very futuristic or medical. Pretty cool. All right, I'm going to put my torch up a little bit, believe it or not. And then go to town on this thing. Torch it up, Jerry. Torch it up. Man. This is a dope ass vape, dude. I'll tell you that now. I've used it a bit and me likey. 
yeah, I'm excited to spend some time with this and use this all weekend. See how it goes. It's good shit. It's good shit. Nice little uh, portable torch powered ball vape or induction powered ball vape. You could probably make it work on the glass as well with that tip on there. It's a 10. I love that I got the visual and I just can go a little more and know, like, it's easy to see what you're doing. You know what I mean? Like, the visual makes it analog dial -y so that you can really get where you want. Yeah. Yeah, I like the little visual indicator. That's really freaking cool. Hmm. So now we're, now we're getting there. Fuck me. Yeah, with the little vapor rings. Ooh. Beautiful. Oof, 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 oof. And it's not done. No, it's not done. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. So do we have a timeline on this thing? When will uh, people be able to get it? Ooh. I don't know. If you were asking me, I have no idea what's up. I just like it. Yeah, it's badass. Oh. People need it. People need it. Oh, 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 oh. This is Fat Piggy and Matt Heater's working together, man. We did we mention Fat Piggy was in on this, right? I believe so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Great job, guys. Like, so this is like the next evolution of the thermal extractor combined with the cooling power of Mad Heaters. Yeah, dude. It's like a Dyna Ball vape. But it's not by Dynavap. Yeah. It's really, really fucking badass. If anything, it's more like an Anvil ball vape. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's not probably by the more <laughs> There you go. Hopefully in January. Well, be ready, guys. Be ready. I'm going to put this on something metal to cool the fuck down, like we always do with magnets and shit. Dude, yeah, I need some, some magnet shit here now. Put mine on a magnet real quick. Oh, yeah. Dude, well done, guys. That's really fucking good. Me likey. The, uh... Yeah, that shit rocks. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, anyhow, um, I believe when they're ready to have the final uh, thing done, Troy, they'll they'll get us the the replacement pieces so that we have the final because it's basically just something I think I don't know which is in the cap or the tip or whatever, but they're gonna we're gonna switch one or two things and and then we'll get it, and then hopefully that's around the time that they're ready to sell them and we can start, you know, then then we, then we can have the final version and 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 be a little more open a little more open and critical if that makes sense. Because this, this is a beta version. You know, this yeah, is this is beta. beta. Yeah. Yeah. And it's Spanx. It's a badass beta. Yeah, it's, like, it's it badass. Like, I hope it's close to its final. Like, I don't know how many revisions it's had, but it's it feels refined and ready. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well done, guys. Early feedback. Just saying. But, yeah. There's some I'm shit going on in the done, UK. Jerry. I'm stoned. I'm hungry. You are. And let's get you out of here so you can eat that. Whatever it is. I don't even know. Probably carnitas. Yeah. I think we're having carnitas tonight. Oh, nice. Well, dude, it's been fun, man. I love the chat. I want to call out some guys, man. Thanks, Mad Heaters, for hanging out, man. Thanks for all the help tonight with all the guys, man. Brian, what's up, man? Chill Mike, as always. Very helpful, man. Appreciate you, Jack and Desprack. So, anyhow, man, just wanted to say thanks for coming on out and uh, 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 for hanging out with us, man. It's been a lot of fun. We fried. Hope you are too. Yeah, yeah man, this thing rocks. Thanks for sending it. <laughs>